Hello, I'm Susan Lewis and I went to Perth on a Momentum Day challenge has come out and as part of that challenge I decided before I went to Perth I would create a visual diary. So here are some pictures. I don't know if you can see them properly. I'll get out of the way. Mm, roses. Well, that was fun because I had to actually work out how to get the white to come up and show. And this one's the uppance and downs all point up. And I'll get it over that way. Yeah, the ups and downs all point up. So this one I went to burn on Sunday. And um, it's the eternal fire. I started off drawing it in um, the dark, actually, as we were singing, <laughs> which is probably my voice. And this one is Listen to My Voice. Maybe I can get it further back here. Oh, yep, Listen to My Voice. They all basically have a name. Ha! <laughs> Ta-da! Open invitation. I've skipped a couple because this... That is... Oh. Where is it? Oh, it's my hand and a person's ear giving them some energy. Energy. Uh, what? That's email. Email, yes, email. So online is, it's full of so much, so many things. You can open your own email and send it through and there's just so much there. And of course, this is for the people who are stuck making a video journey and, and they go, hum, 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 you know, I don't know what I'm going to talk about. Well, in the beginning, I drew a smile on my finger. So when I talk, I'm actually talking to my fingers. <laughs> or bunny rabbit ears or whatever. So anyway, it's... um. When you look at a video journey, <laughs> come out, it's time to come out and play. It's always time to come out and play. I think I've shown this one. Um, the roses. A friend and I were having a discussion on the other end of the phone. I went out and sat out under the roses because I was uncomfortable with the discussion um, where it was heading. So, I've... Um, this one here, it looks a bit funny, right? But it's actually the background was pencil shavings in the eyes. And then last night I turned it into the eyes of a storm. And it's amazing how fire and things and fire and the elements in life actually put us forward. I'll go this way. Oops, a couple of blank ones. That's me! That's me. That's my energy coming forward. It was like at the end of the um, Perth trip, I realized I'd found what I was looking for. My backbone, my me, and I'm able to push forward. And that's me pushing forward. All right. My plane trip home, half a picture. Oh, I sat in the car the other day and again drew these. I think the iris is very hard to do, um, putting white on white paper and trying to figure out where it is. Oh, improving. There's a few here I haven't done, but I've got the outlines for. Um, <sighs> cut out the paperwork, make a difference. So I thought, hmm, I'll cut out the paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> um, one here is... The leader within you. I, I don't actually sit there and plan these out. They are just pictures from within me. This is half done. A unique call. This is you are the answer. There's you. You are the answer. Right? Built in a place of healing. So that's from the inside looking out. The walls are coming down. 
It's just a hand with healing energy. Yeah, well, okay. Um, that's the world's goods. Why not? I'll come back over here. Yeah, world's goods. Like I said, I can't remember if I've showed these to you. The power of the future, the um, industrial revolution, the internet. Yeah, I think I had. And this is the internet is intellectual and it's moving into the heart region, which is where wisdom is. And no computers, as far as I know, can take over wisdom. They might get us to try and believe it, but it just won't happen. That's, yeah, I've shown this one, the bully's hand. Imagine a flower and you will become enlightened because they suddenly look ridiculous. Okay. Um, at the front, play the game to win, right? That way. Um, integrated tool set. <laughs> okay, so I have a warped sense of humor sometimes. You imagine it's what it is. Be comfortable within yourself. If you can sit on that couch, you're doing well. But it's a presence, your presence. Um, it's, it's just a vision I had of my future. I'm in that tent. That is, this is your life. Right? There's all this energy. I don't know if you can see that. There's energy around that life. And if this is the past, it just so happens that the colored pencils they picked up were all in a row. And there it was. Um, dream your values. What did they just to do? Pursue your dream. Right? Pay enough so that your heart is happy. And that's not only with um, financial gains. You have a reward. Make sure your heart is happy. Because all the money in the world is not going to fix a broken heart. Fear who you truly are. You are always in a process. There's toes. Be an ambassador for growth. Push your way forward. Okay. Which is something I've found drawing these pictures open up to growth right yeah I think I've gone through oh there's a few more sand pebbles everything works forward especially with the online stuff that I'm doing and I once had a friend who said to me you reach out to people who feel lost in the world and you open them up to internet opportunities and possibilities and I thought about that you know all along this journey these are there I've sh shown that I'm not quite sure what that is it's just color but it means something that was when I was at the front of the um, visitors at the momentum day it's very hard to draw color when it's in a dark room so those took me all down that was, wow, I've actually buried, not so much the phone and the shirt I was wearing, but I opened up an email and it invited us all to the bar. And I went, wait, I'm going. Okay. So I buried an old, I can't go into a bar fear. That is just a picture of the morning, evening, you know circular thing it's not quite finished I'll get around to it one day I'm not sure which one this way this goes but I'm going backwards definitely here standing on the edge of a precipitous I think looking into mud pools and even mud pools have got energy and life hence that color okay. a pair of jeans there's a story behind that I won't go into it at the moment a rather large tree, right? Oh, that's the same. It's not finished. That's just colours. Um, bright, bright pink going into yellows. Pages full of love. 
um, that is the point where I stopped questioning my past and I thought no I'm going to get up and go into the future I suddenly developed and found my backbone I have everyone at Momentum Day and everything that led up, led up to it including the people that didn't pay me the money they are owing me so I went to Perth on nothing and I came out so determined about my future and everyone else who is there with me on this pathway. It's a beautiful feeling. Knowing, just knowing. I don't have to question anymore. There's no doubt. Alright. I'm not quite sure which one that which way that goes. I think it goes that way. And you know something I don't care. It's just not um very difficult to actually show that one. It took me three hours to do all those dots. And anyone who looks at them will see the yellows or the pinks, but they don't usually see the blues that are fluorescent. That's a bird. That's a garden ivy. That's a tree. And two trees. And bird. That's King's Garden, kind of King's Park. Kind of changed, but I wasn't drawing all the leaves. That's at three o'clock, got two o'clock in the morning with the sun, the light was shining out, but all, all sudden seemed to be coming in and seeking places. I sat on the pen. No, I sat on the pen. This is the first time I've ever drawn my hand, by the way. <laughs> so I gave the pen everlasting life. <laughs> my daily bread. Um, there's a story behind that, but I won't tell you. Anyway, here's a bird. Now, when I was born, I had club feet. And um, I had an operation on my feet. And I've still got the scars. One worse than the other got infected. That is the first time I've picked up pencil and paper and um, drawn a foot with the midges bites because I was out walking and <laughs> forgot I had sandals on. And uh, I didn't realise that Perth had midges. And they found me before I found them. The morning after the barbecue last night, the secret to talking is listening. I took that from a quote. You know, all the time they've had beanbags in the park and they it films in the park, I never went. So in this one I went. I found it by mistake. It was brilliant. It's a man's eye, actually, as energy was swapped. It was beautiful. Just hands. Over hands. Anyway, some clothes. Well, pictures of the clothes. Pictures from the clothes. Yep, I'm wearing this one. Um, this is an un unfinished journey. It's not yet finished. I found out how visual I was when I couldn't remember the passwords. Drew them and suddenly remembered them. That is an obligus. And yeah, someone pointed out to me that there was actually a face in there. <laughs> it sure is. On the plane, over, I realised that there's actually rock under the desert. It's fascinating. That is a paper lampshade. Believe me. That is the night trees. I think we've got this. When I got to Perth, they said, throw all the rubbish out at the airport, please. And I did. That's a uh, picture of midgets. <clears throat> Energy is all around us. This one's important to me. It started off with a box full of flowers. And then I realised that they weren't flowers, they were butterflies. So I changed that and I created a butterfly. All these butterflies are swimming around, flying around. But they're all connected into that box. And they're not really free. But I am. This represents the opal area, opal salt lakes out there. The start of the journey, someone turned the lights on. <laughs> That's that bus that you see in front of you but it's actually behind you and you hop on there and you go for a ride it's like a virtual 
journey. It's weird. Time warped. Time warped. But the ink was not drying it. That's God's presence. A challenge unaccepted gets not offered again. And I learned, you know, it does get offered again. That's a couple of roses. Oh, it's not needed. Uh, that's something I learned. Oh, that's whilst my mum and I were um, waiting for dumplings, I drew that one. Tiny dumplings or Korean dumplings or something that was nice. That's the beginning of my I am. I missed the plane and um, was speaking to a preacher, a minister, and he gave me some words of wisdom. My roses aren't of friendship, aren't yet finished. Going out, it was a horrible day in the train, and I asked, I thought, I don't like that picture. I, I want something else, right? I want something else, so I got something else. And there it was, colour in the greys. Oh, life is full of colour, I realised. There's a midnight thing. Just colour. Step up. Grow, my decision to grow up, step up, take responsibility. Right? He'll carry you through anyway. It's a scarf in the wind, a large scarf. That is a bridge over troubled waters with so much energy it's not funny. This is a very old Lord's Prayer, pre-1662. And I had not realised the energy within life is so amazing. Yeah, I'll give me two years. And this is where I found fun with words start. This is a young lady. She drew it herself. She'd been eating scones, oh, scones and um, cream. And this one is a writer's cafe invitation. I drew that at the actual cafe. It's the school. That is me as I started this journey. There you go. 17 minutes and 25 seconds later, we've just had a trip to Perth. And yes, I have been drawing. All right. Whew. Sorry about the length. But it's done to prove to the journey that will prove to the challenge, 90 day momentum challenge. Thank you. Momentum Day Challenge of Perth. But yes, I have been drawing. Uh, my visual diaries are coming alive. Bingo! Done it. Bye.